A hand cannon that will feel very familiar in the hands of any Destiny 1 veteran, but will still surprise you with its own unique features, making it an absolute go-to for the Crucible, or any activity really. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Season 2 premiere of Weapon Showcase. I'm your host Wall, and today we'll be taking a closer look at the Rose Hand Cannon. I hope you'll enjoy the show. The Rose is a kinetic hand cannon and is part of the 150 RPM archetype family. This weapon was once used by a legendary Risen who went by the name of Rezal Azir. A man who fended off the strong from preying on the weak. A hero to the people who would one day find refuge in the place we now call the last safe city. But his constant worries about saving the innocent from evil led him to Luna and he came back a different and broken man. He changed his name to Dredgenior, Eternal Abyss, imbued his hand cannon with hive bone and dark enchantments, and corrupted his rose to the point where it transformed into something else completely. Thorn, a weapon of sorrow that would kill guardians and drain their light. However, that is not the road we're taking. Where Rezal fell, we will rise, learn to be better, and walk the path of the light. You can acquire the rose by doing the quest for the Lumina Exotic Hand Cannon. At quest step 4, you'll be tasked to generate 250 orbs of light. Once that is done, you'll be awarded the rose. With all that story behind us, let's uh, have a look at the stats, shall we? The Rose is a lightweight frame hand cannon, meaning the second you have it in your hands, you'll notice the swift ease of use because of its snappy handling and also the boost in mobility it gives you. The perk rolls and masterwork are fixed, so we have Chambered Compensator in the first slot, which slightly decreases handling in exchange for a plus 10 boost instability and recoil direction. Accurize rounds increase the range by 10. Outlaw, which grants a reload speed increase after getting a precision kill. And finally, Palmer Grip, to give you that plus 10 boost in handling. The masterwork here is fixed, and what's great about that is that it is a ranged masterwork, which is something this hand cannon definitely needs, so make sure you fully upgrade it. As I said in the One Earth episode, this is a 150. So you have to respect its range, so mid to close range engagements only. You steer off too much and you'll be heavily penalized with its damage drop off. Aside from that, the time to kill sits at a very nice 0.8 seconds, if you hit all 3 consecutive headshots at an appropriate range of course. So you can already imagine how competitive things can get when you have a full lobby of Rose users going at it. Trust me, it's sweaty but it's a lot of fun. The Rose surely differentiates itself from other D2 hand cannons, even the 150 RPM ones like the One Earth, the Dire Promise, and to an extent, even Thorn. It possesses a snappy feel that the Ostringer has, but with the Rose being a lightweight frame, it feels more enhanced and, dare I say, even snappier than the top tier Destiny 1 hand cannons. I really urge you guys to give this hand cannon a go if you have the chance. Anyway, That'll do it for me. I've been your host, Wall, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.